Hello, my name is Tony Berard. <clears throat> Today we're going to do um, a game of Dice Chess 10. Uh, my last video a couple of days ago was of uh, just how to play the game, but not an actual <laughs> game. So I'm going to go through the rules quickly. I have this today. Here's our turn scale. We have these operations, increment, decrement, capture, and move. And to that is relocate. Uh, capture and relocate are similar. Capture, you move the piece from the board. Relocate, it's only for these um, immortal guardians. The, uh, so the relocate is also going to cost two points, just like a capture does. But the relocate means you set the power level to what you want, and you put the immortal guardian on the square you want. All right, and you can only capture if your power level is uh, high enough. Higher means lower numbers. So a three can capture a three, a four, a five, or a six, but a three cannot capture a two or a one, and so on. So uh, each turn is six points, except White's first turn, which is restricted to three points to balance the game. The Immortal Guardians are locked to their half of the board until one of two things happens. Uh, the player gets his king cube to the opposing side. Um, no matter how fleeting. So if you get if White gets his king cube to the sixth rank, even if it's during the turn and coming back, that still hit the sixth rank momentarily. That unlocks the Immortal Guardians to have access to the whole board. Similarly, if Black gets his to the fifth rank, which would be his sixth rank, uh, he also unlocks his Immortal Guardians. And the other way to do it is when you relocate, if you relocate, you know, if I, let's say I had uh, my first move was this, and then I did this, relocate, and I relocated his Immortal Guardian to my side of the board. That unlocks his Immortal Guardians, and now he has access to the full board with his Immortal Guardians. Why would I do that? Well, I wouldn't do it right then, that's for sure. But I might, uh, I might have a reason for putting it on my side of the board that outweighs the consideration of unlocking his Immortal Guardians. So those two things unlock the Immortal Guardians. All right. With all that said, let the games begin. All right, so I'll do that for my first move. Not so that my second move, <laughs> I can relocate the Immortal Guardian to my side of the board. Let's not be funny. All right, so now it's Black's turn. Black gets to do six points, a full turn. Everybody gets a full turn from here on out. And so now it's um, uh, it's White's turn. So I guess we will um, capture. That's five points. And I guess I'll decrement to a two. And Black will decrement to a two. So now it's um, White's turn. It's almost like the roles are reversed. Black moved one piece out. White gets to move two pieces out. Okay. So now it's um, Black's turn. Mm. So Black will do that. And that. All right, so now it's White's turn. I guess White needs to capture. So White will decrement to a two and capture. Likewise, black will decrement to a two and capture.
So now it's Wade's turn. So I'll move that guy two and this guy three. So this one went one, two, three, and this one went one, two. There, so now it's, um, I didn't want to move this guy up two because this guy could capture and that guy could capture. Not if it's decrement to do a two though, but still I didn't want two lined up on the same spot. Oh, if, the, if, if these weren't here, if this captured, then I would have had to capture back. And if these weren't there, then that other guy could decrement to a two and capture. So that's why I put these two here, not on the same line that the, this three can access. All right, so now it's uh, Black's turn. So Black will do that. And this. Guess we'll do a little bit of work on this side. Now it's White's turn. I think those are good. And we'll do that. And that. Again, these regular six sided dice, those are called the men. These eight-sided dice are called the horses. That's the king cube. All the object of the game is to capture the king cube. It moves one space in any direction. So if you want to move the king cube two spaces, or here and then here for two separate moves, that costs six points. Three points plus three points. And the king cube can capture anything, and it can be captured by anything. Except for the Immortal Guardians. It can relocate an Immortal Guardian at any power level that the Immortal Guardian is at. But the Immortal Guardian can also capture uh, the King Cube. So there's the relationships. Alright, so White moved that and that. Now it's Black's turn. I guess Black's going to do this. Rush right out at white. Now it's white's turn. I guess white will do this. And decrement. Seems to be the thing to do. After one captures, decrement that piece to make it more difficult for the opposing the opponent to capture. So then the opponent must decrement and capture. All right, well the power balance is three and three. So now it's White's turn. Guess we'll do that. and that. And that's perfectly okay because the Immortal Guardian protects this three. So Black will decrement to a two, capture the three. So the Immortal Guardian must decrement to a two and capture back. Immortal Guardians can capture. They can relocate another Immortal Guardian. But these Immortal Guardians, they're not attacking each other because they're confined to their half of the board. So even though they were sitting there looking at each other, they couldn't do anything. But he could certainly do something on his own side of the board. Defend. That's his job as an Immortal Guardian to guard. I'm adjusting that. All right, so now it's uh, Black's turn. 
What shall black do? One, two, three, one. Guess that's it. Two moves. White might have been able to capture onto here. All right, so white will decrement and capture. I wasn't paying total attention to my own moves. So black will decrement. And capture. White will decrement and capture. Black will decrement and capture. White will decrement and capture. And that's why Black just did this last move. Whoop, whoop. Decrement. That's what I missed. White could have won a piece. And capture. All right. So we're at... So we got seven and seven. It's a good bar drink, I guess. It's been many years... Since I had one, I last had one as a very young man. I'm in my 50s now. Seven and seven. All right. Well, all the men are almost gone, so it'll be a battle of the horses. So now it's uh, Black's turn. No. Who last captured? Black last captured. So now it's White's turn. So White will bring the six up to here. And the four up to here. The four is not attacking the two because the four would have to decrement down to a two and that costs two points, which would not allow for a capture. But the two is um, the two is able to capture the four. So I guess that's what we'll do. So the two captures the four. Uh-oh. And then the two will decrement to a one. That was a mistake. Because the Immortal Guardian is not able to decrement to a one. All right. The first blood has been drawn. There's now a horse off the field with no counter horse. All right. Is white in trouble? Probably. All right, let's see if uh, white can recover. White will move. Decrement to a two. Decrement this guy. To a two, and we'll decrement this guy to a five. So one move and three decrements. Now it's um, Black's turn. So White is threatening to capture this one because this decrement will only cost one point, and there's still five points to pull off the capture. But Black being in the mood that Black is in. Black will 
uh, move this immortal guardian or relocate it and we'll put it at an 8 on his own side of the board. So we have our first relocation and it was in the uh, own side of the board so no unlocking of the immortal guardian so that it's this is still stuck on its own half of the board. Well white's got some power going on now white is threatening to capture this piece and this piece. Yeah, we've got to move them both. I can't defend them. They've got to be moved. So that's one move. And that's the second move. Well, now it's Black's turn again. So, something interesting is happening here. No, there's not enough to get down there yet. But this is a weak square. Three points and three points. All right, check. So there's no movement of the king cube that can save because the this one covers all the possible spots no not to here I guess he could go do this and get out of dodge but then he's gonna lose the five is under attack this five is under attack and his king is under attack so white's gonna get black is gonna get another piece that was a powerful move right there Black is going to win another piece. Huh. The check has to be addressed. So three and then three, we'll take this to a two. That's what it's going to take to protect that five, but this five is still under attack. White is in trouble. So black will increment to a two and capture this five for a free piece. Now white has two horses missing.
Now it's White's turn. White cannot capture back. Oh, let's see. So we'll increment to a three. And go to here. That is a check. This four is defending the five, so the three cannot pick up this five. Mm -hmm. All right. So we'll move the immortal guardian to here. And then do another move. There. So now it's White's turn. So now this Immortal Guardian is threatening to capture that. This Immortal Guardian could be bounced. I guess we'll do that. So we'll go down to a two. Relocate this that to there to here as a one. Make black work. All right. So that's the full turn and check. So now it's uh, Black's turn again. And now White is threatening this guy, which it isn't much of a threat because White, Black still has this going on over here, a similar thing. But anyway, so let's bring that down to there and move this to here. So now it's White's turn. So white can't do anything better than capture that and decrement to a one. So now the immortal guardian can't bounce that, relocate it, or can't capture it, and neither can these other guys. So one of the horses has been recaptured, and now it's black's turn. So black will capture here and increment to a two. Now it's white's turn. So now three horses for one. Now it's white's turn.
3 and decrement 3 to give me a 5. All right, so move plus three decrements. Now it's Black's turn. All right, looks like White has finally stopped the bleeding. Black can capture one more, either here or here, but no more after that. Well, yes it can. It can relocate this guy and decrement to a one afterwards but it's not going to capture that three. So it doesn't gain anything. So I guess white will capture decrement to a one. Was it White's turn? No, it wasn't White's turn. Uh, it's here. Five. Yeah, I can't do that. It was Black's turn. So this is back to a two. It's Black's turn. All right, Black's going to capture this. So then White will do this. Capture. And decrement to a one. Then black will increment to a three, capture this, and check. If that would have been made a four, that would have been much more powerful. But as it is, it wasn't. All right. So now it's Black's turn. So White's got a little something going on over there. But still, White's got some heavy losses. Yeah. White's down three horses. So we're going to have White resign here. Black's got too much stuff. White might be able to get back one more horse, but no more than that. And then it'll be into the end game. So. All right. Well, you can see that this is a very deep game. And, of course, I'm not a grandmaster at it. So uh, uh, try your hand at it. This game is available on The Game Crafter. www.thegamecrafter.com C-R-A-F-T-E-R. -E and uh, it's called Dice Chess 10. So, uh, yeah. When you get a copy, let me know. <laughs> uh, my email is tinesandbarbs at gmail.com. So um, this is Tony Berard signing off. <laughs>